Zarach, Ecclesiasticus 30. He that loves his son causes him oft to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. He that chastises his son shall have joy in him, and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teaches his son grieves the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he has left one behind him that is like himself. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him, and when he died, he was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies, and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. He that makes too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his heart will be troubled at every cry. A horse not broken becomes headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. Cocker your child, and he shall make you afraid. Play with him, and he will bring you to heaviness. Laugh not with him, lest you have sorrow with him, and lest you gnash, rather, and lest you gnash your teeth in the end. Give him no liberty, liberty, liberty in his youth, and wink not at his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on the sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn, and be disobedient unto you and so bring sorrow to your heart. Chastise your son, and hold him to labor, lest his lewd behavior be an offense unto you. Better is the poor, being sound and strong of constitution, than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Health and good estate of body are above all gold, and a strong body above infinite wealth. There is no riches above a sound body, and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Delicates poured upon a mouth, shut up, are as messes of meat set upon a grave. What good does the offering unto an idol? For neither can it eat nor smell. So is he that is persecuted of Yahweh. He sees with his eyes and groans as a eunuch that embraces a virgin and sighs. Give not over your mind to heaviness, and afflict not yourself in your own counsel. The gladness of the heart is the life of man, and the joyfulness of a man prolongs his days. Love your own soul, and comfort your heart. Remove sorrow far from you. For sorrow has killed many, and there is no profit therein. Envy and wrath shorten the life, and carefulness brings age before the time. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet.